Now, I want to talk about the difference between this thing here, which is the hello world greeting, and this my lambda function here. Both of them are of type greeting, right? Let me get rid of this uh, greet method, or maybe put this way below. So look at these two lines, line 13 and line 14. Line 13 is basically an instance of a greeting interface, which is a custom class that we have written, right? We've written the solo world greeting, which implements the greeting interface. Line 14 is a Lambda expression. There's a Lambda expression, and we've learned that a type of a Lambda expression is basically an interface that has a method of that type. So since this matches here, we have a type greeting and the compiler is really happy. Now the question is, what's the difference between this and this? What's the difference between hello world greeting? And let me change the name for this thing. Lambda greeting, right? What Are they the same or are they different? Hello world greeting is an instance of a specific implementation, which also happens to do the exact same thing, which just happens to print uh, hello world. So are they the same? Now we know that uh, we can do a um, call a method on top of hello world greeting called perform. And this should print hello world to the console. If I execute this, it's gonna print hello world to the console. Now let me try doing the same thing for the Lambda greeting. If I were to use this, what's gonna happen? Turns out we still get hello world printed to the console. So what's happening is this Lambda expression is kind of behaving like an implementation of this interface. What we have here is an actual function. So in a way, we are implementing an interface by just implementing the function and not implementing a class. Okay, that was the difference here between lines 13 and 14. In line 13, we created a new class that implemented the greeting interface and then we provided the logic in that class. However, in line 14, we're not creating a class for it. We're just creating a function, a Lambda expression in line, and that is what's getting assigned to a type greeting. So it's almost as if we have created an implementation of the greeting interface. Now, how can we be sure that it's not actually an implementation? Well, the thing is there are certain things which make the Lambda greeting different from the hello world greeting. And what those differences are, we'll have to look at it a little bit later, but trust me on that. This is an instance of a class that implements the greeting interface, and this is a Lambda expression of type greeting interface. There is a difference there. The difference is hard to find though, because if you think about it, what we did here in the hello world greeting, we didn't really have to create a brand new class. We could have done what's considered an anonymous inner class. I hope you're familiar with what, what an anonymous inner class is. Let me give you an example. Let's say I create a new greeting instance inner class greeting. And what this is gonna do is it's not gonna create an instance of another class, it's gonna create an inline instance of the greeting with the implementation being inline right here. So let's say I do this, new greeting, and I'm going to define the implementation right here. So I have this public white perform, and then I'm going to do a print inside this. So what I have here is an inline implementation of an interface. This is commonly referred to as an anonymous inner class. It's a class that we're defining inside another class. So it's an inner class and it doesn't have a name. So it's an anonymous inner class. And this one set of lines is actually doing a couple of things. It's creating an implementation of greeting, which has this method. This is the code that needs to run. And then it's also creating a new instance by using a new. And the inner class greeting variable is now containing that instance. So let's see what happens here. If I were to do an anonymous inner class greeting dot perform, what is it going to display? Well, it's still going to do hello world. So we don't really need this. Let me actually get rid of the hello world greeting. So you have two types of implementations over here. One is the Lambda greeting, where you have the Lambda alone and then you have the inner class greeting, which is basically doing all this stuff. 
So it's very tempting to say, well, what we're doing over here is basically just syntactical sugar. It's basically another way of creating this kind of an anonymous inner class, because that's what's happening, right? We're creating an instance of creating, just like we're doing over here. It's just that it's a fancy new shortcut in Java 8. Well, for the most purposes, you can think of Lambda expressions as a shortcut for creating these kind of anonymous inner classes, but it's not exactly true. There are things that the inner class does which is different from what these Lambda expressions do. So it's not exactly creating an anonymous inner class. We'll look at those differences in a further tutorial, but be careful of the fact that you're looking at a completely different thing. I see a lot of online tutorials which talk about Lambda starting out as it being some kind of a shortcut for doing anonymous inner classes. That is unfortunately not the case. Lambda is its own thing, and you'll learn more about that later. But for now, think of this as another way of doing something like this. Instead of doing this approach, which is creating this inner class and having an implementation, you create a Lambda expression like this. And now this perform method doesn't have to be over here. I can pass either of these to something like a greet method because it's of type greeting. So any function, any method that already accepts this interface works just fine. The, the, in, the method really doesn't care about whether it's a Lambda or an inner class. Just to prove that, I'm going to call greeter.greet for the Lambda greeting and greeter.greet for the inner class greeting. And these two lines should print to hello worlds as it does. So I understand that what I'm doing in this tutorial is telling you that they both look very similar, but I'm also saying, trust me, they're not the same. I just wanted to contrast these two ways of creating implementations of an interface. One is using something like this, another is creating a Lambda expression, which happens to be of type interface. It's not really a way to create an anonymous inner class, and the details are gonna come much later.